good morning. I think it's like 29 below or something. Well, it was this morning. I don't know what it is now, but yeah, I just got out. Well, I've been out on the trap line for a while now. I've been having not very much luck. First two beaver traps, I got nothing. And yeah, the VK is back, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's I had a heck of a time started this morning, but just letting it run because I got to burn a tank of gas, so break it in again because it's got a brand new motor from Japan. So yeah, so hopefully put some wider ski skins on it. Put a primer on it, that primer sure helped. But um see zoom in here. Put some scratchers on it. I think you can see them down there, yeah. Put some scratchers. Because it was going through sliders, so I put some scratchers and I don't know, fixed up a bunch of stuff, but the main thing it's got a brand new brand new engine from China, so or from Japan, sorry. Yamaha's not made in China. Okay, but it would explain a lot why it broke down so quick. Okay, but here we go. Pull this beam road for you. I look like a big feller here. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, not huge, probably a two year old, but compared to what I've been catching, it's a good sized beaver. All right. Awesome. Robert Bedine like to say that. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, good. I didn't get skunked. Happy. I got a. Nice, pretty dark looking beaver there. Yeah, okay, one more, one more trap here. This one's a snare thing. Hopefully, get one more, because it's a pretty good sized house here, so. Yeah, okay, well, get some out of the trap before he freezes and get back to you, okay. Okay, one link, I don't know how come my camera's so blurry. I dropped it the other day, maybe I buggered it up. But you can see him pretty good there. Kind of dark too, but yeah, and this pole, this ugly old tree here. Kind of weird where we got lots of um, overflow here. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's coming from that way, but first time I've ever had overflow here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got to check my camera where it's brighter. I don't know. It looks pretty ugly, but yeah, I might, okay, I'll, I had to dig out my GoPro and um, give you a better look at that link. Walk through all this water here. That link came from there. Pretty deep that water. Let's see. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, it's a nice little link. So, that's second link from this creek. Edward picked up one last week. I don't think he videoed it though. But um, he came up. I had to ask him about this overflow here because this is really lost. It's really weird. Like, see. Standing in it, it's deep. So good thing that trap is up on a high bluff there. Okay, I'll dispatch that link and put it in the bag and get out of this water. Okay, I fixed up that crime scene. I dug the trap out, moved it to slightly higher ground. Put some beaver meat in there. Put a snare on the side just in case they run through and circle around. And yeah, put some grass over the trap. I Hope the water can't get it now, so I guess what happened, the water came and I think they stepped right on it, but the water froze it to the ice, so yeah, that's what happened, so I'm hit that crime scene there, so hopefully they'll come back and want to eat some beaver, so. Okay, one want to eat beaver, another one want to circle around, be good, so yeah, okay, well, better get going and finish setting traps and head home before it gets too dark. There's the top of that mountain. Yeah. Going down the creek. Okay, we got the crime scene here, Troy Landry. Yeah, it's, um, came and checked this out. And, yeah, big wolverine or something must have went through the back. Yeah. Yeah, wolverine went through the back. Eat the had us lay down there and ate and yeah, he went through the back. Edder caught a link here the other day and good he didn't catch anything but there you see the big tracks there. Big Wolverine must be. There's the BK540 made it. Lots of tracks here. Beaten. Had a 
grand old time here at this trap. There, don't see. They said there's some caribou up here, but nothing up here. So just uh, let you take a look at it. Looks like you'd almost climb up. But yeah. Okay, oh, it had it too high, I think. Okay, but there's your crime scene, Troy Landry. Wolverine went through the back and stole my bait. So, yeah, that, uh, Bad luck, like the wild north. I know, I didn't actually lose it because he didn't bring the trap for me, so can't freak out like the wild north, but yeah, if he does this again next time, well, I think I'm going to set a snare off that tree and make a trail around so he circles and checks it out, so I'll nab him there. That's, I think that's the plan, so okay, yeah. Bad. Lost the Wolverine and went and moved my trap up a little bit too. This stupid water is getting pretty close to it. Okay, I'll fix it up. Yeah. Okay, we just knocked down this tree here. Oh, about 20 minutes ago, I had to gas up. Nice size log though. We got the boat almost half full, maybe a little more than half. This is going to make top it up and probably finish it off tomorrow. There's another tree already fallen there, might be rotten. I don't know, I can check that out tomorrow when we come back for the rest of this one. Marissa was just picking some tree gum. <laughs> yeah, sweating bullets here. Decent sized logs though. Okay, that's for Ed's excellent adventures on Muscat 411. <laughs> Have anything to say? No. How come? There, Marissa's getting back to work picking her tree gum. Must be gonna make medicine for us. <laughs> okay, yeah, get back to finishing off this log and maybe go about halfway past that big bush there and then load up the boat. I think that should be a boat load there. Alrighty then. Show your big bag of tree gum, Marissa. Ooh, lots of tree gum. That's that? Oh. Yeah, this tree is rotten. Only wasn't paying attention and only realized it here. After I got all that cut, right to where Marissa is, about. 25 feet. It's full of this punkwood. Now I know what to watch for. Oh, that's what I remember it being called as punkwood. This stuff. There's lots of it all, all up and down this tree and all, all over the branches. And before I cut it down too, I noticed. I'm not sure if you could see it, but on that old tree there is some woodpecker holes. Before I cut this one down. I took a look at it, there's no woodpecker holes, it's all dry. Dry on the outside, rotten on the inside. Those first big bits in the bottom there look pretty good already. Yeah. What are you doing, Sam? Giving up on rabbits, there's no rabbits, so we're going to call it <laughs> Oh! Whoa! Yeah, Sam want to go and get that dry tree on the left there. This one. That one too. Get that dry standing one first, see if that could fill the boat.
<laughs> That's not far. Cut living stick. <laughs> Once you get further up, it might dry up. A little bit rotten at that start, though. Yeah. Okay, here's our little load of wood. Just the back end there. No rabbits, so we get wood. Time for me to get dressed, so we can hopefully get rabbits. How are you guys liking your night so far? I forgot my harpoon stick. Oh, Sam forgot his harpoon stick right there. There, Sam and his glorious one rabbit tonight. <laughs> you got shotgun too. Long shot about maybe how far you think? Twenty yards. No, farther than that. <laughs> Ooh. That's the kidneys in. Sam begged one rabbit. <laughs> there, how was your rabbit hunt? Oh, you're out of the light. Bulb. 